Hello and welcome to Tip of the Week by CAD Tech Seminars. Uh, this video we're going to cover how to locate walls and lines that are out of axis in Revit and AutoCAD all versions. Let's say for instance you are using the tool in Revit to pick existing lines to create walls. And then you find out let's say um, a month later that half the lines that you were picking to create walls were a little out of axis, maybe a half a degree or a percentage of a degree. So now you've got this Revit model full of lines and walls that are out of axis and you'll get these warnings that pop up. So how do we go about fixing that? Well inside of Revit there's some filters but they're not near as in-depth as AutoCAD. So this is one way, there's probably other ways to do it, but this, uh, this way we can actually find the ones that are out of axis. One of the problems is in AutoCAD and in Revit, it's sometimes it's hard to see which one's out of axis. For instance, if we roll over this one, is that one directly straight up and down, or is it a little out of axis? Um, so we don't know. Now in Revit, I couldn't find any filters to filter out lines or walls or anything that were a little out, but AutoCAD has some robust filters that we can use to find that information. So I'm going to zoom in right now, and you'll notice that I set the walls at 90.05 degrees. Those are out, but they're very, very subtle. So if I grab one of these, and I don't have my, let's say, um, my precision turned up here, I wouldn't even notice it. So let's take a look. I'm going to type in units, and I'm going to set my units to, let's say, maybe one decimal place, like so. So I'll go ahead and hit OK. Uh, pick on that wall, and I may or may not notice anything. So it says 90. I thought oh, life is good. I don't notice that it's out only when I crank up the units. And I'm going to crank it up a couple of decimal places. We hit OK on that. Now you'll notice that when I pick that element again, you'll notice that it is uh, it is out. So I'll grab it and notice it's, uh, it's a half degree out. Now the problem with this in Revit is uh, Revit will not dimension to elements that are not perfectly parallel. So the Align Dimension tool won't work. Uh, that's the first giveaway that things are kind of getting squirrely. So how can we tell which ones are right and which ones are wrong? Now again, in Revit there may be a way, but um, I know there's a way in AutoCAD to quickly highlight and at least notify me of the walls that are not correct. So if anything, we can just print this out and this will give us a uh, kind of a road map of which walls need to be fixed and which ones don't. So here we go. First of all, I'm going to grab all of the elements in the model. Now when I grab all these elements, you'll notice that lots of stuff gets highlighted. Uh, you know, thousands of pieces in this instance is a smaller uh, scenario, but you see it says 162. Now we're going to use these things called filters. They're very powerful. Now Revit calls them quick selects, but what they are, they're, they're a true filter. Now I'm going to hit this button. I'm going to say go through the object types. I'm going to say first of all, go find all of the lines. So instantly what it does, it, it reduces the selection set. Now is when we're going to get interesting. So I hit OK on that and let's hit uh, OK. All right, so let's try that again. So we're going to grab everything like so. Now, we click on it, and you'll see we come over here and we've got this selection set. Now, we can actually say include in the selection set, and we'll say lines. We come down here, multiple, line. I hit OK. So you'll notice that it just picks the lines up. So that was an inclusive filter. Now we're going to get fancy. We're going to go back, OK? And so the only thing that we have now are lines. And you can see here lines. But now we're going to say go find all the lines that the angle does not equal, let's say, zero. Now here's where it gets fancy, exclude from set. Okay, or actually, go find all the ones that equal zero. Exclude them from the new selection set, so hit OK. So what happens is, notice some of these lines get taken out, because those are true zero. Let's try that again. We're going to continue excluding from the set. Now go find all the lines that have an angle that is equal to 90. And when you find these items, exclude them from the existing set. Hit OK. Notice we may have a few more that are out. OK. Now we'll do that again. Notice that line has been excluded, but the other ones haven't. We're going to hit it again. We're going to say at this point, go find again all the ones that have an angle that equals, this time we'll do 180. You have to walk it all the way around. We hit OK. Exclude those from the set. So notice it took that line out of above and took out a few more. We do it again. Okay, so that was, uh, I think, 180. So we're going to go say, go find a line where the angle equals 270. We exclude those from the set. Again, you'll notice more of them are, are being removed from the set. 
and then again we're going to go go find all the other ones that um, equal angle and we're going to type in 360 because lines can be drawn either from zero uh, in a zero direction or 360 degree I hit OK and now that all the ones come out so what we've done now is we've taken out all the angles that we know if you have an angle of 45 degrees type that in too that would be excluded from the set so only things that are left are now the ones that are let's say uh, not 0, 90, 180, 270, 360, or any other angles that you have and that, and that you know are in the project. So now what do we need to do? We need to go change them. So I'm just going to force a color. I'm going to say take, turn all the ones that are screwy to a particular color. I'll pick magenta. So I override them, and there we go. So I uh, hit escape twice. All the objects in magenta are not parallel. Now let's just verify. I grab that line right there and you'll notice that it's a 0.5 degree angle. I grab this one here, notice he's a 0.5 degree angle. Now we can print this out and then go back to Revit and actually know the walls that are wrong. So we pick this wall and we can then correct it. So what this is doing is it's giving us a quick way to kind of give us a road map of the, road, the walls that are screwy and the walls that are right. may not be the most uh, efficient way but it will road map it for us and then we can go back to the model and just some old uh, you know time and effort to re to make sure all those elements are correct now you could probably grab a whole bunch of them at one time and straighten them up in Revit but as of right now this is going to give you the road map to what the problems are alright uh, so hope that worked for you guys uh, that is the tip of the week we go back here and if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call or check us out on the web at cadtechseminars.com. Thank you.